Optos partnered with Optometry Today to run a roundtable with four practice owners. Our aim was to explore the positive impact that Optimap and OCT has had on their practices. First, we wanted to hear their reviews of the device. It makes our job so much easier, so much more complete. It's probably one of the best decisions I've made. Once you have that level of technology, it really does improve your clinical decision making. We wanted an OCT and the footprint in the branch that we bought the Monaco for was, was too small to fit another little room and, a, and an OCT, so we got the Monaco for that reason. And it's been brilliant because the patients really find it a lot easier to stay on one piece of kit. Thinking back to when you first got your Optimap and OCT in practice, was there much of a learning curve? I was a little bit uh, nervous about being able to interpret the um, images properly, particularly because I hadn't used OCT before. Luckily, in a way, we had COVID and I was able to do quite a lot of learning during the time that we were shut. I've been learning as I go along. The resources which are available from Optos and Optics to use forum has been tremendous for me personally. Both the OCT and the Optos forums are really good. So there's a real wealth of knowledge in the forums, some Optoms out there who are really well versed. Next, we asked the group, was there any trouble getting your staff on board? As soon as um, you get the machine in the practice, it's easy to get your staff on board because it sells itself. I was pleasantly surprised when we got the demo machine in and um, other optums are right up for it. And we got some awkward patients in and they loved it as well. People with detachments, we'd, we'd never seen the detachments before. We also wanted to know, how do you integrate the technology into your patient journey? Before the morning starts, I open up four tabs of OCT, so I have a normal image, I have a PED or a you know macular edema. So when somebody says, well, why are we doing it? I say, well, there's somebody with high blood pressure and they've had a burst blood vessel at the back of the eye or they've got diabetic retinopathy and we can monitor it. Not trying to frighten them, but to explain why it's a useful thing. I'm at the point now, we don't um, insist that everybody has um, a scan, but if they don't want one, I'm, I get a bit mufty about <laughs> a bit mufty because I really like to see the whole of the retina. We do get a lot of flashing floors and that is an absolute, well, before before Optimap, is <laughs> a real pain in the butt because you spend so much time, you got to look for tobacco dust, you got to dilate and got to have a look in a volt lens, but all can direct. And even then, you weren't sure. Whereas now with Optimap, you're absolutely certain, go, you're fine, or there's a tear, and it makes the decision-making process so much easier. Anything which is urgent, you know what you're going to be acting on um, straight away. Everything else, I find that actually you can take time and think about it and use forums, etc. And also, even if you need to contact a patient a day or two later, they're quite happy for you to do that. So you don't have to rush into decision-making decision straight away. For a lot of us that used OCT for years, and thought we could never live without an OCT. The thing that's made the difference is the resolution in Optimaps come on leaps and bounds in that 20 years. Because the resolution is so good, you really don't need the OCT quite so much. And I, I was quite surprised at that. We then asked the group about taking the plunge when purchasing a new piece of optical kit. It can feel like a big investment. So how has having an Optimap affected their business model? When you work out the cost of an OCT and a Daytona to get both things, it, it pretty much works out at the same price, really. The worry was, could you justify the cost to the patient? And we find over time that the, the patients have been very willing to pay for both images. I find that my dispense values are high, or my dispenser's values are high because I'm giving a bit more advice when I'm giving the hand over. The patient trusts you a bit more because you've gone through all the health side of it in a lot more detail. They have the visual stimuli. So it's not just the clinical fee which you're finding is in, in improving the practice. There's a lot of surveys being done um, by Optos as well that people are more prepared to spend on health than they used to be. We find that people, once you explain the benefits of why you should have a scan done, they're more likely to go ahead with it. They appreciate that you have invested in something to look after them. And if there is a problem, it's so nice to actually be able to show them, look, this is what I've seen. We then went on to ask the group a question about the device. What do you think of it now? 
How do you find it, having had it in practice for a while? It, it does change the dynamic of the practice in a very, very um, uh, a good way. The patients love it. It, you know, it, it can be a big, obviously, financial thought process. But I worked on the principle that if I can get two people to pay for it per day, it breaks even, and it's done more than that. I think sometimes you fixate on. For me, I fixate on the cost too much, and then you don't think about all the additional benefits that it brings to the practice. After the roundtable, we asked the practitioners to share their conclusions and to explain what they think of the device, having had the chance to talk to other ECPs. It just makes being a practitioner all that more enjoyable, um, just being able to talk about the eye health in much greater detail with visual images, which are always really impactful. My advice for anyone thinking of buying one is certainly go and see one at a trade show or a conference if you can or ask for a demo from Optos and have it in the practice you really get a much better idea of what it's capable of when you've taken some images of some patients and it is a lot easier to operate than uh, than you would imagine. Advise anyone who's considering it that it's definitely an investment worth taking. I would recommend it to anybody. I, I really enjoy working with the Optos and wouldn't want to be without it.